going to do it. I am sending a bus to space. And I'm going to do it pretty epically, too. Wish me luck. No. Oh. Oh my gosh, I nearly died. Yes, yes. Anyways, guys, I need to get some spicy chips. Tis I to fill up my belly. Huh? What the heck is going on over here? We do not like sick people in here. We only cut real hair, not wigs. You always cough, and we don't want your icky germs. I can't help it. I'm sick. Well, stay away from us. We don't like you. Yeah. Why don't you skedaddle? Wait, what the heck? You! How could you do that, you big old bully? You big meanie? This right, how would you like it if I did that to you? Um, girls, why is there a deranged rat talking to us? Hi, I am not a deranged rat. Now listen, you girls think it's funny to gang up and pick on someone else because of the way they look or how sick they are? Mind your own business. You know, no matter how sick this girl is, she will always be better than you girls. Uh, ah! That's right. Not so nice, is it, to be treated like that? Oh my goodness. Um, excuse me. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. Sorry for what? You didn't do anything wrong. Causing you an inconvenience. Gotta go. Wait. What? Where the heck does she think she's going? This right, lady. Get back here. That's right, lady. I don't know where you think you're running off to, but I haven't finished with you yet. Wait, guys. There she is. And it looks like she's hiding underneath here. Wait, what is this? Have a nice day. What the heck is this place? Wait a minute, lady. This is where you live? In this tent? But it's so wet and cold out here. Y yes But this is only gonna make your sickness so much worse. My medical bills are too high, so we had to sell my house. Oh my gosh, you can't be staying out here by yourself. It's dangerous. That's right, lady. If you don't die from getting sick, you'll definitely die from the cold. Which is why, lady, you can come home and stay with me. Essentially, of course. Wait. What? That's right. I have a house with four walls and a roof, and it's super comfortable. I... I can't do that. Well, you are. This right, lady. I can't have you sitting out here by yourself like this. From now on, you and I are Crab Karua. Crab Karua? Yes, yes. Crab Karua means family. And family means no one gets left behind. No. I also don't have a family, lady. So don't you be turning me away too easily. Now, do we have a deal? Hmm. I like the sound of that. Crab Karua. Yes, yes. Then let's go. So here it is. What do you think, huh? Wow, this is so amazing. <laughs> well, don't just stand outside. Get in and check this place out. Oh, my goodness. I really hope she likes it. Well, is the inside as good as the outside? Well, it's so nice and warm. And the best thing is I've already checked for spiders. No spiders in here today. Oh, and also we have a fridge full of delicious food. <laughs> You be careful, lady. Don't you go coughing on my spicy chips. Spicy chips? What are those? Ha! Ah, you've never heard of the spice. Ooh, they're like little raindrops of golden heaven. This right. Get a load of these and pop them in your belly. And once you try them, we have to try the blue flavor as well. Oh my gosh, amazing! Yes, yes, I also think they're amazing. Anyways, lady, I never actually got your name. I'm Leah. Ooh, that name is so fancy. My name is Kali. Nice to meet you. Did you say cauliflower? No, I did not say cauliflower. I said Kali. With a little bit of shazam. Anyways, let me introduce you to the house. Out the back here, we have a garage. And I have things to clean up washing. But we don't open these up. I'm pretty sure inside there's some spiders. You know, creepy crawlies. Oh, I hate spiders. <laughs> good, good. Me too. Now let me show you to the front room. This is where we watch the big box with moving images. Wow. Yes, yes. It's really nice. And then up here, let me show you this is your brand new bedroom. As you can see, it is the nicest whole room in the house. This is amazing. Oh, I think so too. Sickle mode. Oh my gosh. She's checking out the bed right now. Is it as comfortable as you think? The bed is so soft. Oh, she's bouncing. Let me bounce too. <laughs> this is so good. Uh oh, um, 
Leah, are you okay? I didn't mean to bounce that hard. I got a cut. Wait a minute, you did? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. I have glass skin. Okay, I'll remember that for the future. I really don't want you to get hot. Anyways, I can tell that you're pretty sick and I think you need to see a doctor. So maybe tomorrow morning, we'll wake up nice and early. That's right. And you and I can get down there and find out what is wrong. Does it sound like a plan? Anyways, of course it sounds like a plan. I'll see you in the morning. Wait, I have a question. Wait a minute, you do? What is it? How come you have no family like me? Oh, well, I used to have a wife, but unfortunately, she passed away. She did? Yeah, you see, one night, my wife and I were doing some late night fishing, when out of nowhere, she was attacked by a squid. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, that's so sad. It's okay, though, because now I have new family. You do? Yes, yes, I already told you, it's you and me to the end. Yes, yes. That's right, Crab Karua. Okay, well, it's getting pretty late. I'm gonna go to bed right now and catch some Z's, and I'll see you in the morning. That's right, Leah, let's go I get to bed. Yes. <laughs> this right, ladies and gentlemen. What a BEA beautiful sleep pair in Brookhaven. Anyways, let's go check on Leah right now and make sure she had the best sleep. Wait. Leah, where the heck are you? Oh no. Did she run away? Oh, did she get eaten by spiders? Huh? Wait a minute. Leah, is everything okay? Oh my gosh, she's being sick. Oh my gosh. Has she been being sick all night, guys? This is so sad. I'm so sorry for making so much noise. No, you don't have to be sorry. I just feel so bad for you that you're going through all of this. You know, when I get really sick, my grandma used to give me blue spicy chips, and that would make me feel all better. Blue spicy chips? Yes, yes. They're really good for your digestion, and they always make me feel 100% better. Maybe we could go get some. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay, well, hop on my back and let's get down there. You're really gonna like them. Trust me, they're like my favorite thing in the entire world. Oh, and don't worry, we don't have to run the whole way because I have a car. Yes, yes. Now let's get to the spicy chips. Woo! <laughs> Anyways, everybody knows that the blue spicy chips are kept over here. In fact, they're kept in this shop right here, guys. That's right, just over over here in Rotten Robbie's Food Mod. Let me just pull up the car and we can go inside and get something good to eat. That's right. And you can have absolutely anything you want. I want you to feel like you can fill your belly with every single treat inside of here. And trust me, there's so many options. Anything? Yes, yes. Anything. That's right. We got milk. We got chocolate. We got cool Coca-Colas in the fridge. Even hot dogs, which tastes really good. Actually, I'm okay. Wait, what? What do you mean you're okay? Well, not okay, but the food I'm okay. But, but, you can literally have anything inside of it. That's right. There's Brookio's. Everybody likes Brookio's. Okay, fine. I'll get one thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, you get that, and I'll get the spicy chips. And, ooh, it looks like the tiny cashier is finally got a robot who we can climb on his shoulder. Now we can see all over the counter. Good job, bud. Anyway. It looks like she's got a hot dog. Pretty good choice. Now let's pay for this stuff. Yes, yes. Money, money, money. Okay, well, now he's got my money. Leah, let's get the heck out of here. Let's go. Wait. One second. Wait, what? What the heck is she doing? Huh? There you go. Oh my gosh. She literally just gave the hot dog to that poor homeless man. That is so kind of you, Leah. You would literally give someone else food rather than have it yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Leah, is everything okay? I don't feel so good. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is bad. This right, Leah, don't worry. I'm gonna take you to the hospital. Get in my arms. This right, guys, this is bad. Why the heck did she just pass out on the floor for? Maybe it's because I didn't administer the spicy chips in time. This right, and I think it's too late to do it now. Leah, I just need you to hold on for a second. This right, I don't want to go through what I went through with my last wife again. Oh my gosh, we're almost there, guys. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, we literally made it just in time. 
Oh, jeez. Dr. Scott! Oh, boy, am I glad to see you, bud. It's my new friend. She's really sick. This way, please. Oh, my gosh. Come on, let's go fast. And now... That's right. Let me just put her down real quick. Now, please, doctors, don't just stop that. Do something. Step outside. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is bad. This is really bad. I don't know what could possibly be wrong with her, but I'm really starting to think that this could be really serious. That's right, doctor. What is taking them so long? Surely she can't be that sick. Wait, what is this? We need an x-ray. Wait a minute. An x-ray? Oh, no. This is bad, guys. This is really bad. Sir, please step back. But it's my new friend. I need to see what's going on with her. Wait, what is this? I can see the x-ray result says something pointing up inside of her head. Only a medium family can be involved. I'm the only family she has. That's right. Why won't you let me see what's going on? This is so bad. We need to operate fast. Wait, an operation? Oh my gosh, guys. I think this is way worse than I first thought. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys! What is taking them so long? It's literally been hours and I've heard nothing! Huh? We need to talk! What is it, Doctor? Please tell me she's gonna be okay! She is very sick! I don't know how to say this, but she has a tumor! Wait a minute! She has a tumor? This is so unfair! She literally doesn't have anything and then... Then this? It's too dangerous to operate! Wait a minute, Doctor! What does this mean? She's going to be okay, right? Unfortunately, we don't know how much time she has left! This is so unfair! She doesn't have any friends, a family, a house, and now... Even this is gonna be taken away from her? This may be her last day. What? But I just started to like her. I will let you tell her the news. Oh my gosh. Um, thank you, I guess, doctor. That's right. Oh no, look at her, guys. She looks so sick. This is literally so sad. C Kelly, there you are. Um, yeah, it's me, Leah. Um, yeah, it's me, Leah. Um, how are you feeling? I feel horrible. Um, Actually, yeah, that's why I've come in here, Leah. I need to tell you something. The reason you've been feeling so sick recently is because, well, um, you kind of have something growing inside of your head. Something that most people don't ever have. What are you saying? What I'm saying, Leah, is they're not going to be able to operate and they don't know how long you have left. I understand. Don't worry. I will leave you alone now. Wait, what? No, Leah, that's not what I'm saying at all. I just feel so sad for you. Why would you want to be around someone so sick? It's not fair. Because I like you. I think you're smart, funny, you're nice. And we're family, you know? Crab Karua. I didn't know you felt that way. No one has ever felt that way with me before. You know, Leah, I almost find that hard to believe. Such a special person. This right. And even though the thing growing inside of your head is never fully going to go away, neither will the way I feel about you. You too, Callie. <laughs> okay, well, let's get the heck out of here. I really don't like hospital rooms, and I don't think this is the best place for you right now. Okay. That's right. Let's get the heck out of here. And make sure we say thank you to the doctors. That's right, Doc. Thank you so much. Anything you need, don't hesitate and give us a call. Yeah, thank you so much, doctor. I'm so sorry. It's no problem, guys. I really appreciate everything. Okay, Leah. Now you're back on the beautiful comfy bed. Fit for a queen just like you. Callie, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course you can, Leah. What is it? Am I a button to you? Wait, a button? No. Why the heck would you think that? Because I like you. You do? And you like me. It's true. Maybe we could be family. You're kind. Why, thanks. You're mine. I am. You made me feel so happy. I've been so sick that no one wanted me. But I think that you're so amazing. I know, but I'm so sick and tired. But I. I enjoy my time with you You know, your wife was really lucky to have you 
Wait, you really think that? Of course! You're not like other people! No, and neither are you, Leah, which is why I think you and I get along so well. Actually, before we go to bed and have the business day tomorrow, maybe we should take off this bandage. That looks like it's gonna make sleeping really uncomfortable. I would have to take off my wig, though. Yeah, so? What the heck is wrong with that? I don't want you to see me bald. Wait a minute. You think I care about something like that? Hair is just hair. In fact, let me just... Hit... Ugh. Much better. Now, come on. Let me see yours as well. I bet you look beautiful. You did that for me? Yeah, of course I did that for you. Crap, Karula. We do everything together. Well, okay, but please don't laugh. Laugh? What the heck would I laugh at you for? I think that you look really good. Now, please, can I see what you really look like? Oh, my gosh. She's taking up. Whoa. Leah, you're so pretty. What the heck were you scared of? Now we both look like a couple of beautiful eggs. You really think so? Yes, I think so. I actually like you so much better without the wig. No one has ever been this nice to me before. Well, I can't see why, Leah. You are one of the most amazing human beings I've ever met. And I can't wait to spend as much time as I can with you. Which is why we should get some sleep so we can get up tomorrow and have the best this day. Good idea. <laughs> okay, Leah, you better be ready because tomorrow is going to be a crap karua day. That's right, guys. Let me catch some sleep with my new bald head and I'll see her in the morning. Oh my gosh, guys. What a beautiful morning. Listen to the sound of those birds. That's right. I need to go and wake up Leah right now so she can hear them. She absolutely is going to love this. Isn't that right, Leah? Wait. L Leah? Leah, is everything okay? Leah! Leah, say Leah, say something! Leah, please, no. No, Leah, no, no like this, please! I only just got to get to know you! I can't go now! No like this! You are so special to me. Why does everything in this world get taken away from me, guys? Oh my gosh, guys, this is literally so unfair. Well, guys, I guess this is it. I guess I have to start again. But before I do... I'm gonna make sure she has the perfect send-off so she can rest up there with everybody else. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, here we go. This is the big day. It's not the kind of big day I thought I'd be having, but I would like to give a speech just to say my farewell to Leah one last time. This right, guys. Time for me to step up and make a speech to everyone that she knew, which is literally just me and the doctors. Leah, if you're up there in heaven, eat all the spicy chips you can for me, and I'll see you really, really soon. That's right, guys. Now I guess it's back to normal. But yes, guys, that is going to be it from me today. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? As you guys can see, there is two videos on the screen now. This one is the sad one, and this one is, well, the happy one. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!